Welcome to the Friendly Podcast Guide, sorting through podcasts so you don't have to. I'm Andy Smiley, and I want to help you discover the right podcast without having to listen to an entire episode. Now, let's talk podcasts. Hello, welcome back. This week, we have another podcast with a fabulous name. It's called Chatty Geek Hidden Dragon. Intriguing, right? Chris Smith is the host, and his goal is to make talking about mental health as normal as talking about the weather. Before we dive into my conversation with Chris, here's some details about the show. The show description is, Chatty Geek Hidden Dragon is a podcast and live stream about our hobbies and passions and promoting conversations about mental and social health. The length of each episode varies from one to two hours long, and then there are mental health journal episodes that are 15 to 30 minutes long. This podcast isn't exactly kid ear friendly because sometimes it touches on hard mental health topics, so it may not be a good fit for little ears. This series is ongoing with new episodes available a few times a month. Before we learn more about the vibe of the show, we're going to take a quick break to talk about the Friendly Podcast Recap. The Friendly Podcast Guide officially has a newsletter. How exciting is that? I'll drop into your emails on the first Wednesday of every month to give you a quick recap of the episodes that came out the previous month, all the discount codes from my partners I talked about in those episodes, and some episodes from other podcasts that I loved in the past month that I think you might want to try out. You can subscribe to my newsletter by clicking on the link in the show notes or going to my website, friendlypodcastguide.com. Now we get to hear from Chris about the roundabout way his podcast came to be. I am so excited to talk to Chris Smith today. He is the host of the Chatty Geek Hidden Dragon podcast. And holy cow, first of all, introduce yourself. And then I got to hear how you came up with that name. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hi. It's uh, Thanks for having me on the show. My name's Chris. I am the host of Chatty Geek Hidden Dragon podcast. Um, I've, uh, I currently work in construction, but I, I really have a passion for mental health, mental health awareness and reducing the stigma of mental health. Uh, hence the podcast. I also um, I've practiced martial arts for over 20 years. I've practiced uh, Buddhist meditation for over 20 years. Um, and I'm into all things geeky, which has also helped me name the podcast. <laughs> That's awesome. I <laughs> love that. Um, so why did you start? Why did you start this podcast? I started the podcast because I got to a certain level. It actually started through the martial arts practice. I got to a certain level and I was asked the question, you know, now you're at this level, what do you want to do? Um, now, it seems very strange for a, a, a martial artist to decide to go, I want to go geeky and crazy and funny. Uh, <laughs> but I really wanted to use everything I'd learned um, to sort of make a difference with the world and, and sort of do something mental health orientated. Um, I think mental health affects everybody to some degree. Uh, it's mm-hmm. affected me. And, you know, it's, it's not just about, it's not just about being healthy and being ill. It's, it's recognizing the fact that mental health actually can affect the decisions we can make in our lives. Um, and, you know, the better mental health, the better decisions we can make and, and the better decisions we can make, the, the less we affect other people as well. So hence the show. I love that. That is a very unique way to start a podcast, but I feel like it's, it's worked for you and I absolutely love yeah. it. Yeah. So I feel like we've touched on it, but let's dive a little deeper into what you want people to get out of your podcast. So Chatty Geek Hidden Dragon, you can it's it's obviously quite quirky. It's it's <laughs> quite fun. Um I don't want people to tune in to listen to just a mental health conversation, although the podcast falls into the general health, mental health category. If you were to go on iTunes or Spotify, et cetera, you would find it under there. However, I don't, people want to dive into it purely to think that they're going to listen to a conversation about mental health. The the whole the whole ethos of the show is that it does affect everybody and everybody is unique at the same time. So we'll bring guests on, um, and I'll I'll share my own um, I'll share my own experiences through the journal, and we just talk about everything random, everything like other guests' passions, other guests' interests, other guests' escapes. And then we also shine the spotlight a little bit on mental health just to show 
that you can talk about mental health in the same way that you can talk about anything. It doesn't matter what you're into. It doesn't have to be stigma. It doesn't have to be a little bit off-putting to, to for so, someone to suddenly mention mental health. It can be just a part of conversation as the weather can. It's it's nothing out of the ordinary at all to talk about. That is so awesome. I feel like that's such a beautiful way to marry mental health. Well, maybe not marry mental health with normal life because it is normal life. Just make it normal. It is. Yeah, that's exactly right. Exactly. Right. Mental health. That. Mental health is like the weather, essentially. You know, mm-hmm. some, you have sunny days, you have rainy days. And we talk about the weather. No problem at all. When you go to work, you go, you know, it's a it's a it's a nice day out there or it's a pretty awful day out there. And, you know, it, you can it should be we, we, the aim is to have it to be exactly the same. I'm feeling pretty good today or I'm feeling pretty crappy today. You know what I mean? Definitely. So we've talked about how your show is kind of quirky, but yeah. what would how would you consider the vibe of your show? The vibe is uh, incredibly relaxed. We, like I say, we're not forcing anybody to talk about anything. We're not forcing people to talk about things that they're not comfortable sharing. So the the main vibe is that of really good friends, really approachable, a lot of fun. You know, you want to you wanna go away from the podcast having listened to it having met some friends, people you maybe want to know a little bit more about, maybe join our community because we have our own community going on as well. Um, and that's it. It's it's not like you'd, you're not necessarily going to learn something. You're just going to feel, although you probably will, to be fair, um, <laughs> you're just going to, you're just going to feel that, you know, you've, you've met some good friends and you've, you've, you feel a bit better that your own experiences are normal that other people experience. I love that. And I feel like in this world, sometimes it's hard to find some good friends so that I feel like, especially as a stay at home mom, I feel like most of my podcast hosts that I listen to, I think of as friends. So I'm glad that you, you are welcoming us as friends as well. (laughs) That makes it nice. Yeah. So I know this is kind of hard, but do you have a favorite episode or a couple of episodes? (laughs) <laughs> right so it's it's very difficult because everybody i mean as a i see myself as a bit of a father figure as well so uh you're not supposed to have favorites but um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean that there, there has been um guests that have shared that have shared different things I've, I've loved some of my journal episodes where i've got things off my chest um but we've had some really um really authentic uh, guests that have been very generous in in what they've shared and a couple that spring to mind if you wanted to point listeners towards a particular episode I would say the one with um, coach Lee Hopkins um, who who shares a lot about his experiences through life and then um, also there's a nutrition student Francesca Meffert who I would who has a uh, she has a podcast of her own actually and she was a very genuine authentic guest that, that shared a lot about eating uh disordered eating interesting mm. wow awesome well i will make sure to link those in the show notes so that people yeah. can jump straight to them um as well as your community i would love to get the link on that so i can put that in the show notes as well so people can yeah. join that if they would like um would you consider your podcast okay for little ears I have a lot of moms that listen, so I like to ask that question. Yeah, I, I would probably I would probably sway on the safe side and say maybe not. Um, we don't use a lot of nasty language, colorful language, really. Um, but sometimes we might touch on subjects if if guests are sharing experiences that you know you maybe don't want young ears listening to and then maybe asking awkward questions of the parents you know so maybe maybe you use your own judgment we normally say that we we sometimes touch on things which can be triggering or can you know um be upsetting so we, we maybe if if it's if it's of concern maybe parents should check first definitely totally and i feel like that's the beauty of podcasts is we can just stick a headphone in and listen if kids yeah. are around or you can just save it for another time. It's of not course. live. So you can listen whenever. Exactly. Well, at least, yeah. The podcast form. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you want to add that we haven't touched on yet? Um, I think we've, I think we've crammed 
everything special <laughs> into that into that 10 minutes. I am um, so glad. <laughs> um, I mean, not all I would say is that what we are trying to create at Chetty Geek Hidden Dragon isn't just... Um, well, it, it is what you want it to be. So we're there for you to listen. We're also there for you to watch if you want to join us live and you can ask guests conversations. You can ask guests questions as they happen. And we also provide a, compu- a community. We have a Discord server and we ha- we're, we're present on all of the social networks. I'm always available. Uh, here I am now um, <laughs> for on the other end of WhatsApp and things like that, where you can see the links on our website and all of that. And all that thing. So yeah, just we are here is the is the main message, I guess. That is absolutely wonderful. Um, and where can people find you? I know we just touched on um mm-hmm. social media, but where can people yeah. get the podcast as well? Sure. Well, the podcast, you will find it everywhere. I mean, if you put Chetty Geek Hidden Dragon, it's a fairly unique name. You'll probably <laughs> only see me um if you type that in. But we are on any any podcast platform that you prefer to use from iTunes, Spotify up to the less up to the lesser well known ones. We're, we're, you'll find us there. Perfect. Well thank you so much. I cannot wait to share this with my listeners and give them another resource to normalize mental health. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you want to hear about more podcasts from me, please follow or subscribe on your podcast app of choice. And just a reminder to subscribe to my newsletter, The Friendly Podcast Recap. Talk to you soon. I'm all ready. I've read through everything, so I'm raring to go. You're fabulous. Okay.